Uh, what are we known for? Horses, ranches, and uh, we have 825,000 acres, so we're kind of big. It's a little bit bigger than Rhode Island. And uh, we just, we love our company and we love our customers. So yeah, we say thank you to the Crockers for coming out and checking us out. I'm Liz Garza, I'm the retail manager here at the King Rent Saddle Shop. Thanks for looking and watching us. And so I'm standing here in front of this like horse looking thing, it's called a Nilgai. He's white and brown and uh, he's actually an antelope and they're not native of here. They're from super far away, India. And we brought them in in the mid 1800s and now people hunt them down and shoot them and eat them and they're good. So uh, what are we known for? Horses, ranches, and uh, we have 825,000 acres so we're kind of big. It's a little bit bigger than Rhode Island. And uh, we just, we love our company and we love our customers. So yeah, we say thank you to the Crockers for coming out and checking us out. So guys, if you're ever in the Kingsville area, Yay. come hit her up. Hey Jared, found you some snake boots. Got the King Ranch logo on there and all. And zipper all the way on the bottom. $238 for the pair. And look, easy for you to get in. See, you can open it up. And you're able to get your leg and your foot in there without any problem. Snake boots. That's what you need, snake boots, buddy. Basically, we have every single hat that you see, every cowboy hat will come open crown, open brim, and a shape is put into it. Now, some of them are pre-creased by the companies like these Justin hats, but these Americans will come open crown, open brim, and I can put any shape that you want into these hats. Like the, this one started out just like this, and we put, this is called a cattleman crown, basically a center dent, a couple side creases, and we have a little bit wider uh, brim here with a slight turn up and a little bit of dip to it. And shaping hats is uh, something I love to do. And art form, huh? Oh, it's a dying art, man. <laughs> it's a dying art, I tell you. But can, if y'all want to do something, we can uh, shape one up here pretty sure. quick. And Americans double lock their hats and make them a real st strong, sturdy hat. Uh, real good hat. So basically, what we're going to do here is I'm going to put this, uh, what we'll put is. We'll just do another cattleman crease. It's uh, it's the classic style, just like I got. Everybody knows the cattleman crease. It's the basic cowboy hat, you know. Uh, and you can you can do anything you want to a hat and start it out like this. That's why I advocate for hand shaped. You can customize it any way you want. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get our steam one warmed up. So that's what this it just yeah steams basically it steam and helps you. steam will uh, help soften up this lacquer here and make it so that I can mold and shape the brim there's a wire that goes around here that helps hold the shape and then it'll cool down and harden back up for us and it's it's really really something fun man and how long have you been doing this i've been doing this oh since i was what's well, six 15 or 16. yeah so about five five or six years and uh hat shaping is something you teach yourself 
Yeah. There's not a whole, you can't really, every every person has a different style of shaping. Start with a center crease. Just like that. And make sure you get it lined up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Keep it kind of warm so that you don't end up cracking the lacquer or anything like that, because once you crack it, it's not going to harden back up or anything like that, and that's not a good thing. We don't want that. So is this an extra charge to get it shaped? No. Uh, I don't charge anything here, especially if it's one of our hats. Mm -hmm. um, if it's one of our hats, I will definitely take care of you, no questions asked. And if you bring in your hat and you want to get it tuned up, touched up, bring it to me, I, all I do is work off tips back here. So it's a... Uh, I love, I, this is my favorite part of the job. Yeah. It's my favorite. I love talking to people and that's why I like working in retail, but this is a little bit of a passion of mine. Yeah. What you're doing. And then we'll basically, right now what's popular is a little bit wider brim, kind of squared off with a little bit of dip in the front like I was showing you earlier. And uh, that shouldn't take too much time at all. And there's something like that for you. 10 minutes. 10 minutes and you got yourself a good looking little custom hat. That's crazy. Hand shaped, hand done. You want to tell everyone your name and how to I contact am, uh, you? I am Jake Johnson. Uh, I work here at the uh, King Ranch Saddle Shop in Kingsville, Texas. Um, if you need anything regarding your hat, especially down here in South Texas, uh, I, I would love for you to come down here to Saddle Shop, see what we got and I'll shape up a hat for you, whatever you want. Uh, you can find me at Instagram. Uh, I have a uh, it's Kingsville underscore Hatter is my username, and you can find uh, whatever information you'd like and see some of my previous work on there as well. Awesome. Yeah. And if we say, if they say the Crocker sent you, they get a free handshake? Oh, man, absolutely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if uh, they say Crocker sent me, I'll give them a free uh, American Hat Co Company oh. patch. There you go. Can't go wrong with America. You cannot ever go wrong with American Hat Company especially. Yep. Absolutely. I can do y'all's initials if y'all like. Cool, that'd be awesome. Are you just cleaning it or is and, it just... Uh, with the uh, thicker leather, we usually have to put water in so that way it doesn't like completely destroy and tear through the leather. Okay. So when... Because this is a thick piece. Try to go from the inside, the middle out, so that way it's pr more linear. Because you try to go from all the way... From one of the sides, you end up kind of going uh -huh. an angle and more down. Yeah. So if you do that middle... Middle one first... You go out, and that way you can play with this. <laughs> okay, there that's you go. cool. Here, folks. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. We started out with our proprietary camo pattern and uh, really found favor with the, the Texas consumer with that and the southwestern consumer. A little braver than I am. Okay. I'll get you mine. Too bad. That's some ice down. <laughs> Guys, we are here still in Kingsville, and look who we ran into. Eloy, uh, I did the, all the cooking here for uh, Fiesta Paloma. And it was amazing. So what? what's this? This is a cooking team with me and my brothers cook and, and do it in a competition, but... You ever win? Yeah, of course we do. Well, then all right. So what you had was award-winning brisket. Oh, there you guys, you heard it straight from the, the real grill master. Yeah. I don't think Jared, you don't got nothing on this. Oh. So do you do anything like barbecue for other people? If, like We do, we do catering. We do oh. catering, yeah. So how do they get in contact with you? 
phone number. Uh, it's 361-219-0410. Uh, and I can tell you right now, I don't know how much he charges, but it's worth it. Because that was good. Thank you. We have not made quail, what is it, quail? Quail knots. Quail knots, and they were amazing. Yeah. They were so good. Guys, if you're ever in Kingsville, especially around this time next year, you got to come back. This is the fourth year? Fourth year. And you've been here every year? Yes, sir. Not disappointing, guys. All right, guys, we're out here at the uh, Fiesta de Paloma. I think it's what it's called. Uh, I don't know. Yep. You guys know who this is, Grady. You see him in our other videos. So, uh... Was it fun? Yeah, it was. Was it hot? Hot. Very hot. <laughs> the food? It was okay. It was pretty good. I don't okay. know. I think he could, uh, what, smoke or barbecue or what? Mm, mostly smoke and grill. Smoke. So we're going to have to try his out and see what's better. That's what I'm thinking. I just invited myself over. Well, next time I'm up in Louisville and y'all are back up there, I'll, I'll load my smoker up. There you go. You heard it here. All right, guys, so like you know, we're here in Kingsville, and look who we ran Woo! into. Hey, y'all, Simply Jan Homestead. I'm Jan. She has 137 subscribers. Woohoo! I think today, what would you think we got you to 200? 200, yeah. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. So how far did you drive? Three hours. Three hours from Canyon, where? Canyon Lake, Texas. Canyon Lake. Didn't know. We were eating, and I turned around, and I got a camera in my face. <laughs> That's how you do it. And they're going to be able to see that footage? <laughs> yeah, it'll be on my YouTube channel. When do you think you'll post that? When I get home. Oh, so you're... Five hours max. So today or tomorrow, we will link that and yeah. show you. So you have to go to our channel, subscribe, and look at the footage of us eating all the good food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of good old Kingsville, Texas? Oh, it's so cool here, y'all. If you haven't ever been here, come. It's, uh, they've got the King Ranch Saddle Shop. I did a video on that, too. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so I went inside. They let me film. So go check it out, man. This is a cool place, and it's got the most awesome architecture. It's like, I don't know. What do you think? What year did was oh, this? Oh, I don't, I don't even know. I have a pamphlet that I can't tell you. So it's really nice. Great music, great people hanging out, all sorts of things being made. It's it's pretty awesome. It's and awesome. And I got to meet the Crockers! Yay! All right, guys, we closed this place down. We stayed the entire. We got here early, and we stayed the entire time. It was fun. I it thought was. it was great. It was the first time y'all been too, right? Right. Yeah. We had no idea what to expect, and I thought it was awesome. I, I had a great, great time. Good food, friendly people. Yep, we got to meet a lot of new people, so now we gotta go home and uh, see what else we get into. All right, guys, so we are back at the ranch, and I think we're gonna take the rest of the day off. Um, my parents are coming out here, Matt's coming out here. We're just gonna kinda enjoy the evening together off camera, because we don't want a camera in our face all the time uh, we're just taking this whole day as a family day and uh giving jared something to look at i guess he has done some raised garden beds so we're gonna link that down in the description so you can go check it out that is our that's my twin brother and uh you can go check out his channel if you don't know about him it's just jared crocker and we want to say thank you so much to the King Ranch Saddle Shop for allowing us to film and do all that stuff, especially in the store and get the cool stuff that we got. We got to learn how to shape hats. We got to learn how they stamp the leather. Um, we got a lesson on the nail guy. We call it nail guy because that's just the way we say it, nail guy. Um, but we got all that cool stuff, got to see all that. Everyone there at the King Ranch Saddle Shop was super nice to us. I mean, super accommodating, super nice, very helpful. So thank you to all of you employees that were there. It was very nice of you guys to treat us like family. And, of course, thanks to WeBoost for allowing us to uh, post this video every day because we got 4G cell phone service out here because of WeBoost. So thank you so much WeBoost for that. Uh, if you're interested in a cell phone booster, down in the description. But we're going to go. We're going to spend the rest of the day having fun. We will see you guys tomorrow. But man, that was an awesome day.